afternoon everyone I'm back out uh, back out of my ancient permission uh, this is the Queen Anne field uh, I'm going to go around here uh, this field has been bashed to hell but I'm still making good finds on here so uh, a field is never done uh, I've only got an hour and a half so um, I'm not going to go to where the uh, the plane crash was because that's like half a mile walk and uh, it's just going to eat up too much metal detecting time so I'm going to be going around here now I'm going to be using a preset program that I've never used before I've uh, been advised to use it by Little John, please check out his channel the link to John's channel is in the uh, description, he makes brilliant videos John, and the program is uh, Relic, it's program number 6 in the dais, apparently you get good depth and you'll get good results as well and it does sniff out iron as well, so uh, all good targets today will be live digs because uh, the finds off this field have been unbelievable. I've seen a seal matrix, which is a, a really early one, a lead one. So yeah, there's been some good finds off here, and a lot of Georgia, Georgian coins as well. So I'll see you at the first target, which will be a live dig. On to the next. Now well, that's ringing in the 80s. It does sound like there's iron there as well. Look. Okay, about between 85 and 87 in both directions. Live dig. I've just realised the second that I forgot my knee pads. Right, pretty close. What are you? I'll just put my gloves on. You've got to bear with me, you know. Ah, there it is, first target. Now that, I know it just looks like a ring, but I think that's lead. And this is interesting, this. He's got some, I don't know if that's detail or if that's just the way it's been moulded there. But that does look very, very interesting. Okay, I'll see you at the next target for a live dig. Right, I'm going to show you a target now, right, for the ones of you that know the dais. Uh, right, I'm in relic mode. Now, relic mode saying there's something there ringing 95, 96. Let's turn 90 degrees. Yeah, it's jumping now. I'm just going to try a couple of other programs now, programs that I use, okay? So I'm going to go to the hot program, which I use 90% of the time. I know it's not the best for depth, but it's really, really good. Let's see what the hot program does. Uh, the hot program, there's nothing there. Nothing at all. Let's try... My iron test, this is what I'll go into to find out if it's iron. No. And nothing, nothing that way, so really I'm getting nothing off the iron test. Uh, I'll go into my deep program, which is the 4 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz program, which I threw together for this field. That is picking it up, but it's not like crystal clear. But that's saying that there is something there. 
apologise if you can hear the wind. I'll just go into a few of the presets now as well. GM Power, which is number two. That's just about picking it up. 95. Uh, Deus Fast. Hardly anything. Because uh, Deus Fast runs on uh, Reactivity 3, so you do lose depth where GM Power is Reactivity uh, 2. So I'm just going to go back into the Relic program. Right, I'll, I'll set up this camera now and we'll do a live dig. Right, let's dig this out and see what's going on. I say it's deep. And rocky. Rooty. See if that's cleaned it up at all. Let's get some more out of there. Here. Okay, I found it at last. Oh, be quiet. Don't know if you can see that. Don't know what it is. That's what it was. Looks really old. Don't know what it is. Uh, to show you, uh, good nine inches, easy. I don't know. I've found something similar before, and uh, was told it was from a, a tobacco tin. But this looks smaller. I don't know. This is one for uh, Pete and. Ian. Okay, I'll see you at the next find. Ninety-three, ninety-four. Ninety-three, ninety-four. Still in relic mode, and I don't think it's that deep either. <laughs> Just there, it is. Ah, there you go. Massive lump of lead. Very heavy, and it looks shaped. Don't know, it looks like a spinning top, but I wonder what that would have been used for. Has anyone seen a shape of lead like that before I come out? Okay, uh, I'm happy with the relic programme. Um, I've had a few uh, old relics that were pretty deep that I've missed or not detected over before. And I do believe there will be more targets in this uh, Queen Anne field. So uh, I'll, I'll just do a bit in here now and then. Uh, right, uh, just to the side of this Queen Anne field, there's a, you've got this hill here that comes down, that leads down into the Queen Anne field. Uh, I'm actually going to be going along it and back, along it and back now until I reach the very top. Uh, I've come out the Relic programme now because I know that nothing will be deep on here because it's on like a rocky bank, so I've gone into my hot programme. Uh, I've just hit a target here now. I'll uh, set up the camera.
So I've got something else over if it is a button or a coin. Uh, is that? I'm not too sure. Okay, uh, possibly as a coin, first coin of today. I uh, don't recognise the the size of it though. Okay, I'll clean it up. On to the next. Right, I'm just working my way along now. I've got a nice signal here. 94, 95. Uh, you can just see a coin there, uh, but I don't think it's silver. Just there. Uh, see the imprint? Oh. Okay. I'm due a silver, you know what? It's looking like a two pence. Well, I hope I'm wrong. Yeah, that's Queen Elizabeth, yeah. Two pence. 88, 89. 88, 89. Which is another coin. Oh, I'm not too sure. Let me see, there is something on it. Possibly George the Second Papenny. Ah, uh, this is my last dig now. I'm out of time. Okay, it's, it's in the seventies, and this is a very scratchy signal. Seventies again, and it did flick into the eighties quick. So I don't know. Oh, that was a coin. That surprises me, that. That wasn't a good... Ah, look at the head on that. Oh, who's that? Is that William? Red ants coming out of this hole. Uh, not sure if it's... Uh, William the third or... George III. Oh, look at the harp on that. That's some lovely detail on that. Look at that. 17, just below the harp there, you can see it. It looks like 1769. We'll have to check that out if that date works for the coin. That's fine to the hunt there. So that's George III then, is it? Or George II. You can see the um, the lines there. I'm not sure if it's two or or three. I think now George III. Yeah, I'm going to stick with George III. If it's 1769, I'm sure George III is 1760 to 1820, if I got it right. So this could be um, an Irish halfpenny. Okay. Okay, that's it for this hunt now. I am totally out of time. I'll just do a quick roundup. I, I don't do a lot of these on site. Uh, a big lead dome find, which is really heavy. I don't know what that would have been used for. Definitely been worked on. Uh, my first find in the uh, relic mode. Not too sure. That's been made for something. It's not a spindle wheel, but it's definitely got like a decoration on it. That piece of lead. Don't know if you can see in the sun. I probably would have put photos on after each find. Uh, this, which I'm not sure again. Uh, not all the um, programs in the days would pick that up. So that had to be dug. That's interesting. 
really like an idea of that. And four coins, we've got the, the two pence, and then got George II, Apenny. Uh, that one, which is a coin, but I don't know what it is. There is a bit of writing right on the rim. Uh, I don't know if it's a gaming token, actually. And that's my favourite find of the hunt, 1769 uh, Irish Penny. George III and this should show you that's perfect that is look at that really really like that okay uh, I did reach the top of this bank just here and then the, there's the Queen Anne field at the bottom um, next time I come to this field uh, I think I'm gonna just come up here I apologize for the wind uh, I'll just do this area here another hump here which I've never been on so I'll just concentrate up here I haven't done a lot up here so okay so thanks for watching commenting and subscribing I'll be uploading another video soon take care all the best good luck and happy hunting Is that a go in? Yeah. Okay, on to the back.